people from birth. The first thing is that you are at the masses of men. That is the first thing. Some of us, we were, our school fees were paid by aunties and uncles. And by the way, if you're a parent here and your child never performed as you expected, please don't shout very much. Bonus if you will. Try to have a conversation and, and don't make them look like they are fools. And I'll tell you, in Kenya, exams don't test intellectuality. Exams are an elimination system because we have very few slots in the university. And if you're a parent, I'll tell you, I met with someone marking the exam and this is what he told me. We used to mark those papers from 4 in the morning to 10 at night. And he told me, if, if you don't have the heart of the student, you'll just mark what you want. Imagine you are marking a paper at 10. Your mind is tired. And maybe the child does not have a very good handwriting. The, the easiest thing to put is a wrong. So there are people who fail in exams, not because they were fools. It's only that the system was not favorable enough. And so never think this is the end of life. Hallelujah. Some of you have made it more than guys who got A's. So, and I'm not saying getting an A is bad. No, it's very good. You know, being in a valued world country, now we have to distribute opportunities by elimination method. That's the worst part. Are we together? So, so don't utter words that can become a reality over that child. That child can still rise and become a great person. The potential in that child is not dead simply because an examiner decided to grade that child. And can I tell you the truth? Of course, the government wants many people to go to the Tibet universities. Because the concept of the economy is moving from white collar jobs to whatever they call the bottoms up. Where people have skills and they can have their own jobs. Because governments cannot employ. So now they must make sure 145 go to the university and a big bunch, C stand going down all the way to D plus are able to go to Tibet and colleges so that they can get skills. Because economies will not be built by white collar. Economies will be built by plumbers. Economies will be built by electrician. Economies will be built when government does not need to employ, but men have skills and they employ themselves. So please, that's the global thinking. So this exam that was read by Professor Magoha is not a verdict to destiny. Apana. Look at that child and know you never gave birth to a fool and that child still have a destiny. And prophesy your way to that child. Are we together? Yes, destinies are not opened by papers. Destinies are opened by declarations. There are men that have masters and are jobless. And there are people with diploma feeding and building and established family. That matter is settled. So if you're a parent, but please, go down. Settle. Then now, can have a conversation. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> One parent, don't use such words. <laughs> Oh, there's a mother who called his children.